Now I'm being really brave. <laughs> and as you can see, this video goes on and on and on. As they poured the concrete throughout that whole parking pad, it captured that and then plays it back really oh, quick. Like um, my fiance, the other night, in one of the, when we were going through the locks, she did a time lapse of the Victory One, where we were low in the lock and raised right up. So sometime, I have it on my phone, when we're around the ship and you wanna see that one, come up to me and say, hey, show me the time lapse. So that's the homework assignment, is to follow up with me, and we'll show you the time lapse and help you out with some other things that, that you might need assistance with on your phone. So that was another great example of a time lapse. Have to have your phone on for like yes. half hour. Yes, you do. And that brings up a really good point. So sometimes you can get like a little tripod or some claws that will attach to your phone so that you could leave it and not have to be there and your arms are like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna fall over because I have to hold my phone for so long to get this time lapse video. My sister's husband, they were on a trip to South Africa. And they thought they were going to do this fantastic time lapse of the sunrise from the balcony of their hotel. And so Eugene goes up and he has this little, the little claws to attach his phone to the balcony and he's recording and recording and record. And the next thing you know, as you watch the time lapse, all you see is a tumbling and this whirling, it fell, his phone fell from the third floor to the concrete below. And it was not good, but he, ran, he was sure that his phone had broken, but he ran down, picked it up off the ground, and it did break the, the screen, but it still worked, wow. and everything was okay. And it did make the coolest time lapse to see this tumbling sunset. But th it's just a word of caution that if you're going to attach your phone to something, be very careful about how secure it is, and wind, and things around you, and, and if it's going to move. We have somebody in the back. Yes? Yeah, when you say secure the camera, you got to hold it still for these time lapses to really work recommended devices or if you don't have a device method of so the just a, a real small like a grippy tripod it, it has you'll you'll find them like on Amazon or in a in a or even at a, a shopping center like Target or Walmart or someplace like that and it will it's it's like a cell phone holder but it has like feet like a tripod that are grippy and flexy and it'll twist around like a, twi a big twisty tie and attach to the to whatever you want to hold it on to. Yes, in the back. My son just got my, my wife, you know, for Mother's Day, a tripod that's actually a selfie stick with a Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. And it's also used as a, it's really cool, we just opened it yesterday. We had it for a month, we haven't touched it, and we just opened it yesterday. Because we wanted it for the trip. And it was really cool because it's, it, it's used Oh, fantastic. And for those of you wondering about the selfie stick, you heard him talk, we're going to talk about that on our next sea day. So we're going to, oh, if you, we're going to love selfies by the end of this trip, I promise you. But thank you for bringing that up, and that's a great, great idea. Yes. How much space does a, let's say, 15 seconds of time lapse, mm -hmm. how much space is that taking on your capacity? On now, your that depends on the settings of your phone, and if you're in a very high resolution uh, film recording capacity, it would take up quite a bit of space, versus if you have a, you could adjust it so it's not as high resolution, and it won't take up as much space. But if you're in a 15 second video, you're probably looking at 20 to 50 megabytes. Okay. So it's it's not, and that's just a rough estimate. It's not a, a lot for a shorter video. Now if you start to take longer videos, of course, you're gonna consume a lot of memory on your phone. And that's something to be aware of because we all run out of memory so quick on our phones. Yes. No, that's, that's usually a function that's right on your phone that you can select. It's, it's usually uh, associated with the video. So if you can take a video on your phone, oftentimes there'll be an option where you could take a time lapse. Well, 
slow-mo are you going to talk about? Slow-mo. So slow-mo, and that's what we're going to talk about next, is okay. to let you practice some of these different ones. Is there's there's square there? Are there what what other ones are you seeing? You're seeing slow mo. You might see panoramic. So it's big and wide. So what I want you to do next, the next part of our our homework assignment today, as, as part of our presentation, is to just practice some of these different ones so that you're not always just taking regular pictures. Practice the panoramic and see what that's like. Practice taking the slow motion or a time-lapse video. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit longer of a pause because this is a, you know, a little bit more advanced than just taking a regular picture. Practice some of those other options on your phone.